Hi everyone, welcome to this small video and it's that time of the year in case you're wondering it's December 2021 you know people start making their new resolutions and planning their career goals for 2022 and which is that's one of the reasons I've made this video guys uh, uh, and I'm, this is a part of a series which I'm going to be doing on how to start your career within cloud security and this is the first video of that series so this video is why i think cloud security should be your focus for 2022 and i'm going to give you three very good reasons for that so the last two years you know they have been life changing for a lot of people um i mean the global pandemic came, pandemic came and one thing which really saw a boom you know which was cloud adoption and that's not going to go away anytime soon more and more companies are planning to become cloud first and which is why it's really important for you to develop the skills, whether you are a newbie, uh, whether you're an experienced professional, cloud security is something uh, you really want to invest in. And the global cloud infrastructure market that is expected to reach around 170 plus billion revenue in revenue in 2022. And what's gonna happen as more and more companies move to the cloud, there's going to be a global skills shortage, you know, of certified professionals, experienced professionals of the cloud. So guys, this is the best time uh, to really invest in yourself and you can cash on this in the next 12 months or so so i have i hope i have motivated you a bit about this so without any delays let's took uh, let's take a look at reason number one so reason number one let's take a look what is it the simplest one which is high demand for the skill the most obvious point cloud is one of the most in demand skills right now as more and more companies are wanting to digitize and move away from the whole hassle and the cost of maintaining data center and the thing that scares them the most, of course, is a data breach in the cloud. That's why cloud computing, cloud security is so much in demand. Now, even according to LinkedIn, and you can easily go on LinkedIn, look at look at it, cloud computing skills were amongst the top three most in demand skills. And this has been going on for the past three years. There's a recent report from Tech, Tech, Republic, Tech Republic. And... Uh, and it showed that the AWS cloud and Google certifications, they were the like top two highest paying tech certifications. So by putting in your time and energy and investing in cloud security, you're going to make your profile very attractive. Whether you want to stay in your company and progress or you want to find a new job, it's really something which is going to pay off for you. And if you don't believe me, if you think I'm just saying this so you can like like my video or something, let's look at, look, take a look at what the experts are saying. So Gartner, I mean, in case you don't know, Gartner is like one of the world's leading research technology research companies. I mean, their services are used by all of the big firms. I mean, uh, they do all sorts of technology research. What are the trends? They're used by governments, large corporations, you know, technology companies, and the whole community is there who looks at what Gartner is predicting. And well, what have they said? If you take a look at that, they're, they're predicting the top strategy, strategic technology trends for 2022. And in case you missed it, cloud native platforms. Like I mentioned, cloud was already on the rise before the pandemic, but Gartner now predicts the amount of people that are going on the cloud, it is going to outnumber data center workloads by 2022. That is how many people are going to be going on the cloud. And with this, what's going to happen, more and more people want security on this. So the cloud first strategy is becoming very, very common and, uh, and the skills that are needed for that. And so what's happening, what are you talking about? Cloud native platforms. What does that mean? Well, most companies, you know what they do? They do like a lift and shift, which is they take the system which is running on-prem and they migrate it to the cloud, right? That's to do something even better than that. Cloud native, it's called cloud native platforms, which is something which is built for the cloud first. And what it, what's the benefit of that? It uses the native, the core capability of the cloud. And it, it really harnesses the power of a cloud. And it, it's much more faster, it's much more elastic and really takes the benefit. So for that reason, uh, Gartner is predicting that cloud native platforms is going to, it has become the foundation for more than 95% of nearly all new digital initiatives by 2025. So this is the time, guys, if, you, if you're serious about this. Okay, another thing I want to show you. So there was a Skillsoft, uh, there was a knowledge survey done, like they have, a, and they made a report, Skillsoft. It's the Global Knowledge 2021 IT Skills and Salary Report. I'm going to put the link in the description and you can take a look. So what they did, they, they took a look at what are the top investment areas all the companies are doing. So what do you think? The number top two areas are what? It is cybersecurity and cloud computing. So 50% of all, nearly all the IT departments across the world, they're saying the thing they're going to be investing on most is cybersecurity. After that, followed by cloud computing. So if you're in cloud security, uh, you can imagine you're getting the best of both worlds. So that's why it's so important. 
and the, the, these are becoming the two most difficult hiring areas also why because the, the professionals are less you're not able to find so many people you'll find a lot of cloud people you'll find a lot of security people cloud security is quite uh, rare nowadays and i mean and i mean really experienced people on the cloud so that's why it's really good to invest in yourself and you can see the proof which is right there so i hope that gives you some more motivation so what's the second reason reason number 2 guys if you can guess if you haven't well okay let's take a look time is running out guys and i i don't mean to scare you and i don't mean in this in a negative way but i really want you to think about this time is running out for traditional on premise security skills no what the skills which you have if you if they are just based on prem and you don't have any cloud basic skills right your skills will become obsolete over a period of time guys this happens with technology always but and with cloud it's going to happen faster it's not going to happen overnight but if you want to stay relevant in this field you really need to upgrade yourself it skills that are, these are just a few of examples which are going to become obsolete soon pure infrastructure skills what that, what do i mean by that if your skill is just about configuring operating systems securing operating systems networks routers switches uh, guys your job is become going to become obsolete why because operating systems are going to move to infrastructure as code you don't you not not going to get a vm where you get to configure it will all the security is going to be into the code itself okay and networks routers switches they, all of them become they, they, it's a, it all becomes like software within the cloud right so that that's why you really need to be uh, thinking about this manual security scanning what do i mean by that manual security scanning you will be thinking okay security scanning is automatic so what do i mean by that so let's take an example if you're doing a security scan in your company if you're like a security guy a penetration tester what do you do do you go to a console log in put in your user id password put in some ip addresses scan it uh, get a pdf get an excel report and give it to people to fix guys all of this is going to become automated within the cloud you can have api calls you can have automation so you really need to think about how the cloud works all of these manual processes are going to become automated okay what about that data center security honestly i i don't need to explain this right who wants to manage the hassle who wants to have the cost of the ma maintaining a data center it's going to go away manual security configurations i talked about a little bit uh, basically manually going and configuring operating systems to be secure all of that is going to go within infrastructure as code which is very cloud native and general it skills what, what do i mean by that guys and this is i really want you to think about this general it skills if your cv says it manager like employees who are generalist with broad skills you know but no specializations nothing with cyber security or cloud or a subject matter in which you're an expert are you're going to have to become struggle to become relevant to remain relevant in the future that's why it is so important for you to really invest in your skills so what do you need to know well it skills you do need to know which are going to become very hot which are already hot actually but they're going to become more and more uh, coding what do i mean by that i do not mean for you to become a, like a hardcore programmer you take out some python and all that but guys you do need to know a little bit of code you do need to how to write code let me give you a simple example can you write a terraform script just to generate a simple server in aws or azure or google if you don't know that yeah that's a problem guys you need to know a little a little bit of coding why because everything is going to make turn towards software hardware is going to become obsolete uh same thing like serverless if you don't know what serverless is serverless is completely just one code on the cloud you don't have to worry about servers you don't have to worry about anything complete abstraction a lot most companies are going to think about going towards that hybrid cloud so it's not just one cloud most companies have a multiple cloud strategy they have azure they have google they have oracle they have aws so you need to have us know how to secure multiple clouds at the same time devsecops so devops and devsecops has become very hot nowadays but guys do you, do you have any practical knowledge of this i mean uh, so what do i mean by this i mean a lot of people know what ci cd is devops if i want you to develop a pipeline in jenkins and secure it do can you do that so do you have the skill or not that becomes very important and lastly ai and machine learning governance so this is a topic i could talk about for the next like 15 minutes but i won't waste your time ai and machine learning is artificial intelligence is going to change how we work how we live and more and more companies are adopting it and machine learning for everything and with that a lot of standards are coming out a lot of security concerns are coming out you need to know how to govern it so all of these things uh, in case you are interested i'm going to be doing detailed in depth series on all of this so don't worry about it i'm going to be making future videos about this and how to like more technical in depth so you get the skills and how to get around going around getting the skills okay and now the last reason guys 
And if this doesn't motivate you, I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> the last reason is cyber criminals are already using the cloud. So if you are not interested, you say, no, I'm still not convinced. Well, I hate to tell you this because the value add which the cloud gives, uh, cyber criminals have already realized that. So it's no surprise at all because cyber criminals, you know, usually they're very bright people and they see a value add if, they, if it's there. And they, what they have done, they have started using cloud to really scale up their technologies. They, like, just like any cloud allows its technology to become more agile, more scalable, more cost effective, and it enables them to become more, much more efficient. The business of uh, cyber crime, they have started to do the same, but they have started to use the power of the cloud, but for an illegal thing. So what, what has it done? Well, let's take a look. They, it gives you access to huge amount of data sets, you know, terabytes of data is there. So what, what can criminals do? They can effectively use the storage. They can use the raw power of the cloud to mine, process, and host like terabytes of data. And what, what does that happen? They can, their attacks become, have become very fast because they're using the power of the cloud. And what, even worse than that now, because all of the power that they have, the time before between which they get some data, like they breach you and they get access to your data and using it, selling it, that is also becoming very short because of the power that they have. So if you steal your credentials uh, and they use it, the time frame that is there, that is becoming very, very small. So that, I hope that makes you understand guys, uh, why like the cloud. So if you don't use it, even if you'd say, I'm not gonna be using cloud, well, I hate to tell you this, cyber criminals are going to be using cl the cloud uh, for their own purposes. So that is why these are the top three reasons I could think of to really make you understand why you should invest in cloud security and why, how to go about it. So thank you for listening to this, guys. I, like I said, this is part one of a series I'm going to be doing. And if you thought this was useful, please do like and comment in the comment section. I'm going to be launching more series, so please subscribe. And thank you for listening. And hope to see you soon in the next video.